Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's Wednesday today. I don't know why I just threw up a peace sign. And I'm just cooking up some lunch right now. There's some raw meat, gross. Cooking up ground turkey and I'm gonna have it with, I'm gonna make a little bowl with Caribbean style rice and some black beans too. But what else do I need to talk about? What's exciting? What's happening? Really quick, I wanna show you guys. I got my Fab Fit Fun box in the mail, the fall box. I'm so excited to open this later. I have to go to class, so I'll open it later in the vlog. But I just wanna show you that I'm excited to open it. <laughs> so thanks to Fab Fit Fun for partnering with me for this video. It's gonna be real fun and fab and fit. Oh yeah, today's vlog is gonna be about like starting a fitness journey and how to get started. I don't think I'm gonna talk about it much right now because I am headed out the door. I'm actually watching a movie for class and I need to watch tonight. This is called Iraq for Sale and it's about the use of private military contractors in Iraq and it's so interesting and also depressing. I think I accidentally got the extra lean kind. I usually get the one that's like 93% lean, but this is, I'm pretty sure, literally 99, so. A week from today, my little is coming to visit and stay with me here. I'm so excited to see her. I think six weeks of me living here, I wanna say? Maybe it's five. No, I think it's six. Um, and I haven't seen like any of my friends in, from California, obviously, in six weeks, so I'm so excited that she's coming. She's gonna come on a Wednesday and leave Sunday, I think, so. A good weekend and a half. So yeah, you'll see her in the vlogs. It'll be so much fun. This is what my lunch looks like. It doesn't look that great. I put coconut aminos on it, um, but it's just Caribbean style rice, a bunch of black beans, and ground turkey. And I think it'll be really good and really filling for my long day. So I'm gonna eat this, finish watching this movie. Cool. Thursday win time. 153.0 so i lost 0.4 pounds in a week honestly i'm completely happy with that i was like kind of expecting it to even like gain i just feel like i gained like weight oh you know like my last vlog i was like i you know had like a weird weekend ate a lot of food and i just like haven't felt on my game um but i'm like happy that i lost 4.4 pounds so a lot of mornings i don't have breakfast just because i eat dinner really late and i'm just not hungry but this morning i wanted breakfast so i made oatmeal with chia seeds banana and strawberry on top and my coffee with coconut milk and maca powder so be excited to dig in just have my workout and I'm heading home to shower and have lunch and everything, but I think I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks because I just feel like more coffee and I'll show you guys what I get at Starbucks. Thank you. It is a beautiful day in Arlington. The sun is shining. I'm getting coffee. What more could you want? Thank you. Okay, this looks like a frappuccino, but it's not. I learned this trick from a random YouTube video I stumbled across. I don't remember who it was, um, but it's literally iced coffee with two pumps of vanilla and coconut milk. And if you ask for it blended, then they make like too much so you get a venti even though i paid for a grande which isn't cheating because it's ice that's in there so it's not like i'm taking money from them but it tastes it's like really light and it's just iced coffee with a little bit of coconut milk so it's not bad but it tastes a lot better because it's blended what's up guys <laughs> i'm going to sit here and open my fab fit fun box with you guys i'm really excited to see what's in this because i literally have absolutely no clue what to expect so like i said earlier i am partnering with them for this video and i want to show you guys this box because they just released their fall box that's what this is look how fall it is if you're wondering what fab fit fun is i'm getting really good at saying that fab fit fun 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 i lost count <laughs> it's a seasonal subscription box so it comes out four times a year with different boxes based around the season. This box has full size products. I am so stoked. They're full size like fashion, beauty, lifestyle, wellness kind of things. Each of these boxes is $49.99, but, but it's over a $200 value because these are full size products. $200, $49.99, $49 or $10 off because I have a coupon. I know you guys love coupon codes. For your first box, you can get $10 off with the code Christy, which I will also have in the description with a link to where to get this. So check it out. So let's open it. This explains all the products, but I don't want to know. So 
I'll read this after. Unboxing things is so much fun. Ooh, where do I even start? Oh my God, is this a blanket? Oh, this is so nice. I was not expecting this. Cozy wrap, travel well, travel often, travel light. Also guys, by the way, I booked my flight. Speaking of traveling, I booked my flight to go home for Thanksgiving. American University gets Wednesday and Thursday off of classes and Friday. And I only have class Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm going home like a whole week. I'm so excited. So soft. Oh, it's a scarf, it's a scarf. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm so excited for fall. Designed with travel in mind, it's made from the plane to the city streets onto dinner. So that's so nice. So I could wear this literally on the plane to go home because it's freaking cold in Oregon and I know it's gonna be freezing when I land. Um, and like, it's kind of like a blanket and a pillow while you're traveling too. This is so sick. Ooh, whitening factory. I, I've been literally thinking that I need to whiten my teeth. I saw some of my vlog clips and I was like, this is so much fun, this is like Christmas. Matte lip crayon, this looks like Definitely a color I'd wear. It's in the color Florence Fig. Oh my god, I oh, it's just a belt. You guys, I am so excited right now. I literally was about to text Tyler and be like, do you have any belts I can wear to class? Because my pants, the size 12 pants, are literally falling off of me. Sorry, I just got distracted from this lip marker because I saw a belt. Oh my god. So perfect. I literally needed a belt. Back to the lip crayon. Wow, distractions. Oh. The lid come off? Whoa, oh, whoa, the lid looks like the lipstick. So I thought it, that's really trippy. But actually, if you take it off, there is the actual lipstick underneath. And it's a really pretty fall color. Maybe I'll wear this for class too. Everything is just so convenient for what I needed in life right now. And this little lip balm too, incredible. A renewing mud mask. Oh, I love masks. I'll have to film me with this on it at some point. <laughs> See how crazy I look for the mud mask, but yay. Wire heart ceramic jewelry holder. Put it into this ceramic part. Wow, I'm building things. It's like Ikea, but easier. There you go, and you hang jewelry on it. How fun is that? And it matches like the look of my room perfectly. I feel like this was literally made for me, but it wasn't, I mean, I'm not special. Deco cuticle oil in lavender. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm being honest like with all my opinions on this stuff. Like I'm not like being paid to lie to you and pretend I'm excited about it. I am excited about all this stuff, but one thing about me is I already know I don't like the smell of lavender or lilac. I despise it. So I know I'm not gonna like this, but not because of the product, just because I know I don't like that smell, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Yeah, no, not my thing. But also with a good thing about these kind of things is if there is something that isn't for you necessarily, like you can use it as a gift and give this, like I'll give this to my roommate and she'll probably love it. I also ripped the box, so good luck giving this as a present, Christy. <laughs> Moral, molar, molar. Oh my God, duh, there's a picture of a tooth on it. Oh, here, it's a toothbrush. <laughs> Did you see my face when I was opening that? <laughs> they give you a toothbrush to use with the whitening stuff so you don't ruin your own. Perfect, stoked. <laughs> it's a hot and cold gel pack. Cottonelle flushable cleansing cloths. Perfect, because as you guys know, every time I go to the gym, I wipe down my face after to get all the sweat off. And so I'm kind of running low on like random wipes I've accumulated. So these will be perfect. The last thing of my, I'm actually sad this is over. This was really fun. Private party denim something or other. I have no idea. Ooh, it's a bag. I thought it said meet meet the bar, like M-E-A-T, meet meet me at the bar. <laughs> I do like going to bar classes and I do want to try like pure bar and stuff too. Side note, um, I know there's one kind of nearby here. So this one might be a good gym bag. So again, if you guys want to check out FabFitFun and get your first box for $10 off, I will have the link below and you can use my code Christy and you can meet me at the bar. Neat. Look at this color. It matches my friend's headphones right there. So Perfectly. Look how big these pants are on. Like I was gonna wear them to class and just like deal with it, um, but I'm gonna try the belt. Am I an idiot? Let me know. I mean, I am, but like for this purpose. Well, it works and my pants are gonna stay up now. So thank you, FabFitFun. This vlog is all about starting your fitness journey. So I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow mostly. Um, but a tip from today is the Starbucks, like I told you. You don't have to give up things you love. You just might have to be more creative with things you're replacing them with. Slowly like change your orders a little bit and alter them so they're healthier. I've slowly started using less and less sweetener. I used to love really, really sweet coffee all the time, 
but everything is just gradual like that's how you start a fitness journey is just being gradual with it and use you know start getting drinks with one less pump of your flavor and then one day like maybe you won't have any flavor in it and just you know switch to like just iced coffee with like one pump of vanilla that's fine or add a little bit of like coconut milk or almond milk or whatever don't make yourself like cut off cold turkey of things that you love just start finding alternatives and gradually incorporating them into your lifestyle because that's what's gonna like hold and sustain in your life instead of one day you're like I can't take it anymore no more black coffee I'm getting a venti caramel frappuccino with extra whipped cream I'm gonna get ready and go to class but I will talk to you guys more about this later today's Friday and I wanted to sit down and really just like have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with you guys how to start a fitness journey because that's what this vlog is about I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's easy because it's not and if it was easy then everyone would do it getting started is the hardest part for sure and once you get past that and make a routine then it becomes your lifestyle and it's so much easier so you have to get over that initial like getting used to starting a fitness journey, which is a huge plunge to take. And once you're past it though, like you'll be so proud of yourself. I'm gonna start off with just like how I got started with my fitness journey. I just felt this like sad feeling of like, I graduated, like college is over. I don't know what's next for me. I feel like just like not happy with myself. And it wasn't like initially like, okay, I got my diploma now. Oh my God, I need to get fit. It was a couple weeks after that I was finally just like, I need to take matters into my own hands and do what's gonna make me happy and make me feel good about myself. And that's when I was just like, like there's no time like the present. Like I don't know what I'm waiting for. I really, really decide to make a change for yourself because if you don't like make that hardcore decision, you're not gonna stick with it. And you have to like have it in your mindset that this is going to happen for you and you can't just think of it. You can't go into it already setting yourself up for failure and thinking like, well, I'll try it, but I probably won't stick with it. Or I know that I'm gonna like fail after two weeks, but I'm gonna try it anyway. You have to like put yourself in the mindset initially that this is something you're doing for yourself and this is something you're gonna follow through on and something you're gonna implement for the rest of your life. I didn't know what I was doing. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I wasn't planning on documenting it on YouTube and when I started, I was just like, I'm gonna do this for me and maybe in the end, like I'll make a video about how I lost weight. Um, but then I was watching videos and I wanted to watch people like videos of people in the process of it and I was looking for them and there weren't that many like there were a few people that were doing it um like Molly Bales love her I'll I'm gonna talk about youtubers later but I'll link all of them down below and there wasn't that much of it so I was like you know what like I could help someone by doing this even if I fail like whatever I made the decision one day that I didn't want to live the way I had been living for the rest of my life and there was no way to change it except to make a change I'm not a cheesy quote person at all I usually laugh at them but there are a few things that I keep in mind that like actually help like to get something you've never had you have to do something you've never done and so I did just that and I I went to my gym when I had gone to the gym like now and again in the past like I've always done just the elliptical so then when I decided to be healthy again like I went back and I did what I was comfortable with in the beginning because that's what I knew and I didn't want to push myself too far to where I was like pulling back like oh I don't want to do this so I did that I literally just went and did the elliptical and I built myself up to, in time and just like built my stamina okay like I can try and challenge myself to do something else at the gym too so that's when I started like trying weights lightly like just machines that I I took weight training in high school so I was familiar with some of the machines from that but like really not it's been a long time you know you don't have to wake up one day and immediately have the perfect exercise plan with one day of legs one day of arms and know everything that you're gonna do you just have to ease yourself into it and start slow with things you're already comfortable with and then slowly incorporate more challenging things when it comes to food I would have I would totally recommend tracking your food and I know this seems scary but like tracking your calories and your food and the nutrition all of it on my fitness pal first I would like cut things out like I used to eat barbecue pop chips like every single day my roommates would always make fun of me for it finally I was like okay I'm done buying barbecue pop chips so I would cut things out and just like slowly take the unhealthy things out of my diet and incorporate healthier options in between. If you slowly do it, like you're gonna be getting used to it as you go and it won't feel like you're depriving yourself of things. Get a sense of like what the nutrition and the balance of your foods is. Like I had no idea I was eating so much sodium when I first started tracking my food and then I was more conscious of it 
and started looking for foods that had lower sodium to balance it out, you know? You don't even have to count calories. Like that's just a personal thing. You can just eat better and that's part of a fitness journey too. You don't have to be doing it by numbers. I'm gonna go through some of the questions I got in my last video and try and tie in things I wanted to talk about with it. How to hold yourself accountable. I'm really bad at that because I'll go to the gym consistently for like two weeks, then get busy with school and forget and just procrastinate it. It's all about your mindset. Like. I'm a 100% in mind over matter kind of person. And if you decide you're gonna do something, you'll do it if you want it badly enough. So if you're already going into it thinking like, well, I'm gonna go to the gym for two weeks, but then I know I'm gonna fail, like that's gonna happen. Wake up every day and decide I'm going to the gym today. I'm gonna make time for it today. And if it works, like plan it out in your schedule, like wake up earlier. If that means sacrificing an hour of Netflix, you don't even have to sacrifice it. You can watch your Netflix and do workouts like in your room. You have to hold yourself accountable just by thinking like, I'm the only person I'm letting down if I don't do this. You have to keep in mind that it's not gonna happen overnight and you can't expect that. And once you do start seeing results down the road, like it takes time, but it makes it so worth it. So you have to think of doing short-term things in pursuit of a long-term goal, which is really hard. And it's a hard mindset to get in, but once you do that and you get over the fact that you're not gonna see results, and even if you go to the gym for two weeks, it might not make an immediate difference, it will be worth it at some point. Meg Bell says, what workout channels do you recommend on YouTube? Whitney Simmons has great workouts. I kind of watch, Sarah's Day is one of my favorite fitness YouTubers. She's so fun and has really great workouts too. I just like to watch, like I'm not even into the super fitnessy hardcore, like 100 tips in one video kind of people. I like people that are more relatable or people that I'm friends with, like Molly Bales, like I mentioned earlier. Cambria Joy has great advice. Um, Tori Sterling does a lot of really good fitness videos. Oh, Bianca Franco is a girl that I mentioned earlier in the summer who had, over the summer she uploaded every single day and it was just like, she would show her workouts every day. She was so good at it. You can get really good workouts from like Blog Lotties or Tone It Up. I'll link down below like a list of YouTube channels that I like watching that make fitness videos. I wanna start eating healthy, but I don't know how to meal plan correctly and I don't know how to start going to the gym. Like what do I do? Help, <laughs> honestly same. I think like the main thing here is you don't have to know what you're doing to start. Like, I went into it and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I was knew I was gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, just planning out your meals. I'd say like watch different YouTube videos about meal prepping or like meal ideas, try new foods and new recipes and see what you like and then once you find that like latch onto it and run with it and then you can eat that and you can meal prep that just let go of the idea of having to be perfect like there is no correct way to meal plan you just have to do what works for you and find a healthy balance of foods that give you the right nutrients and that fill you up and that you enjoy eating so i kind of want to end this like topic on something that really, really helps me to keep in mind. The time is gonna pass no matter what. Like your life is going by no matter what. You're going to be eating food every single day. Time is gonna pass. So wouldn't you rather be using that time to better yourself and you know, the food you're eating every single day, wouldn't you rather choose to make a healthy and nutritious food that's going to be good for yourself and your body? You can either go two ways. Like you can live your life the same, make no change, and then six months down the road, look back and think, wow, nothing's changed. I'm still unhappy and unhealthy. Or you can look back and think like, wow, I'm so glad I took advantage of every day that I had and replace those foods with healthy, nutritious foods that fed my body and make a change for yourself that's going to make you happy and a healthier version of yourself. You are completely in control of your own life, your own habits, your own diet. Also, oh, I wanted to include this. I'm gonna include some of the pictures and videos of me at my like highest weight. I think some of you will be pretty shocked if you haven't been watching me since then. I know before and after pictures aren't the most motivating thing in the world to some people because it feels like it's unattainable, but like it really, really is. Like if I can do it, you can do it. And that's so cheesy, but it's so true because I'm a pathetic person that doesn't do much. Never would have thought even a year ago that I'd be able to accomplish this and just, you can prove yourself wrong. What is that line from Bridesmaids that it's like, Oh, you are your problem, Annie, but you're also your solution. It's true. I hope it helps out you. I know you're probably gonna still have questions because I didn't answer that many. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you watched to this point because honestly, the people who watched to the end are my favorite people. Like, you guys are the real MVPs. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below as to like how to start a fitness journey or like what's holding you back. Like, what do you actually think is holding you back and how can you get over that? I'm gonna go now. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this vlog and I'll see you in my next one on Wednesday. Bye.